Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Kevin Five I Wanted to give you guys a quick update. Just got done playing the 3K6 Max. Unfortunately, I busted out. It was one of the events I look most forward to. Is all the six max events during the summer. Not only do you have a lot of space, you get to play more hands, and it's my expertise. I, I believe my strongest game is six max no limit, and I understand a lot of people are good at no limit these days, but definitely have put in more hands than most people in the past nine months. So, last two hands I played, both were pretty tricky, pretty tough. I thought that I did everything I could to make the best decisions. I'll go over my reads, a little bit of why I did everything, and hopefully get some feedback from you guys. You guys did pretty well in the last video trying to guess what hands I had. So this time I'm not going to make you guess, I'm just going to tell you straight up. First hand, uh, my chip stack is pretty low at this point. You start with 9k, and I believe I had 6,500 chips. I had value cut myself earlier, and also called a 3-bet, floated with a gutter, and then folded a turn. So, so I lost my chippies. First hand, I have ace-queen. Blinds are 50, 100. I make it 250. It folds to the button. I raised under the gun plus one. Button calls, and then the big blind makes it 750. He has a, around a starting stack. The only other hand this this person was has played is against the button in the hand. He had raised the button with ten jack suited. The button called, and with ace nine off, and then he bet three times on an ace jack x. Can't remember if the ace was on the turn or the river. I think the ace was on the turn, and river was next. And he 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 donked out three times, and I noticed he was playing with his chips. And when the guy grabbed his chips to call, he, he paused, which is, I think, tell. So notice that and got to see his hand at showdown. So that, that definitely played into this hand. I call the 750. I had been pretty splashy, and it looked like it might be steaming because I lost some hands. So did consider putting a re-raise in, but decided that this hand played best as, as a call here pre-flop. Button calls and the flop comes ace nine three rainbow and the guy leads out for a thousand seventy five. I call relatively quickly, I think for ten seconds. Button folds. So now there's like four K in the pot and I have just over four K. The turn is a seven, bringing a rainbow board, ace nine seven three, and he just instantly goes all in without much thought. And I thought for a long time, I thought for about two minutes, ended up seeing if I could pick up anything with him shuffling the chips, grabbed my chips, went to kind of pretend if I was going to call, didn't seem phased. Thought a little longer, tried it again, just to see maybe how he'd react. And he, he honestly just was real steady. Um, and I ended up folding. And then instantly I said, show me a bluff, show me a bluff. And he tabled ace-queen, so he had the same hand. So even though it may seem like, oh, I folded a chop, I think ultimately on that rainbow board, on that run out, in that spot, I, I don't know if I'm ever ahead. I, I do have hands I call with there. I don't not many combos at all. Three combos of pocket nines, um, discounted pocket threes, maybe one combo of pocket threes, and then possibly you could count as many as two combos of ace nine suited. I don't know if I always call their preflop with ace nine suited with the player behind. So maybe even only one combo. So I have five combos I call there. I do have ace king occasionally, so that that's also some combos I, I fold there. So ultimately, I think ace queen is that borderline, kind of the bottom of my range. I'm gonna have ace jack suited, ace ten suited, uh, maybe ace jack off, and maybe some other worse aces. But those those are just gonna get folded on the turn pretty easily. So. In terms of what he can have, he can obviously have aces. There's only one combo of aces, though. 
He can have pocket nines, although I don't think that is super likely. I think he calls their preflop majority of the time with pocket nines. He can have ace queen. Um, I don't know if ace jack shoves that turn that fast because it looks like I have ace queen. And yeah, I think ultimately if he's only shoving, like I only have a bluff catcher. And if he's shoving ace king, there is still what would that eight combos? Am I doing that right too? I have an ace and a queen, so there would only be six combos, I believe. I haven't done much combinatorics lately, and uh, yeah, I, I think it's an, it's an incredibly difficult spot. I think I'm I'm getting. Just about two to one. I think Chip EV might be a slight call. Like it's, it's, it was tough. I I think after seeing his hand and kind of they didn't see what I had, but kind of based on like what everybody was saying, I don't think he was he's going to be bluffing there. So I think it's a good fold. I don't think he has many bluff combos, even if you give him like. A hand like 10 jack suited, which he possibly 3 bets and then C bets, he's not going to be instantly jamming that on the turn. I think that's just suicide. Um, and he didn't seem to be the player that's just going to monkey off his chips real fast, although people do that. People punch pretty hard. Um, so that got me down pretty low. Then the, the last hand I played, so spoiler, I bust on this hand. I have A7. And. <laughs> The flop comes, or no, let me back up. Under the gun plus one raise, and this is a player that already showed down ace nine offsuit uh, under the gun, which is a loose open, especially with no antes and not having reads on the players yet. So I knew that he was a, he was a wide opener. He min raises to 200. I call in the big blind with ace seven offsuit. Flop comes queen seven five with a flush draw. I check, he bets 200. I call. The turn is an ace, offsuit ace. I check, he bets 300. I consider check raising, decide I'm gonna check check raise the river. And the river is a four, so I check, he bet, I believe, 950 or 975. And I shoved for just about 36 or 3300. And this hand I'm less confident that I made the right decision on because I risked my tournament life. And he still has all the set combos. He has ace-queen for better. And the fact that he didn't snap call with ace-queen when I check-raised means that he may have found a fold with, with a lot of the hands I was planning on getting called by on like a lot of aces. So... That was a brutal hand. Um, definitely thought I, I played it well. I thought I was getting good value from the hand. I was pretty sure I was ahead. Don't necessarily regret it, but could have been a mistake. Let me know what you guys think, and I will give you guys an update. I, I have a decision to make. Tomorrow's a 1500 PLO tournament, but it's also the premier bet race fold, so don't know what I'm going to do.